You have interfered with my plans for the last time, Sam and Max. Taking your soul will satisfy my dark masters once and for all. And then I will use my army of the undead to take over the world. <laughs> Damn you, you You owe me five bucks, Sam. I never thought he'd go for the cheesy evil laugh. Insolent to the last. No matter. Oh, we shall see how you make Mr. Vice cracks after you are dead. Well, it looks like this is it, little buddy. My whole life is flashing before my eyes. I wondered where I left my wallet. I can't even remember how we got here. Come on, Max. Remember, we were back in the office, just back from Easter Island. Wait, wait! Do the whole thing with the music and all that. Oh, all right. Doesn't being High Priest of Easter Island and President violate the separation of church and state? Blasphemy! <laughs> oh, hang on. The holy water is giving me a religious vision. <laughs> a goat born with an HDMI port. An unwelcome visitor. Ah, the dead walk the earth. And bells, bells, bells! Hey, not bad. Hello, Commissioner? Lightning! A dog castle! Have you yeah. A snowy egret! No, a chicken! Hey, do you mind not making so much noise? Speak up, Commissioner. I can't hear you. We're having a zombie attack. What's that, Commissioner? Zombie attacks? Jen running George A. Romero in a baby doll t-shirt outside the food court with a $43 gift certificate. We're on the case. The commissioner says zombie attacks are popping up all over the world like pus-filled boils on the decaying flesh of, well, a zombie. Wait, who's attacking? They're coming from some place called the Zombie Factory. Oh, zombies. Zombie attacks! You wander around aimlessly and see what you can turn up. Meanwhile, I'll actually figure out where they're coming from. One step ahead of you! Banang. Tastes great and fun to say. So, the zombies drink beer. Blue, perhaps? Let's press on. She was the only woman I ever loved. This century, at least. Yeah, maybe you should talk about this with your therapist. She was my therapist! Oh good, Lamont and Wallace, you're here. Sam and Max, actually. Whatever, your friend here is driving me crazy. Take him off my hands, would you?
Hiya, cops. Do you Hi know... Hi there. Are you tired of paying a lot for your internet service? What? No, not really. Well, those days are over. Welcome to a new type of internet access. S.O.L. So simple, even a zombie could use it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Do you know anything about a place called the Zombie Factory? Processing. We have gathered extensive marketing data on zombies. Zombies need an easier, less expensive way to access the internet. That's why we developed Stuttgart Online for the greatest concentration of newly active zombies, Stuttgart, Germany. You've unlocked a new area. What do you say that for? We do not know. He has been like this ever since the accident. Max, when I'm done yammering, remind me we gotta drive to Stuttgart. Quick like a zombie. Drive to Stuttgart, right. Forgot it already. You're selling the internet to zombies? Not just the internet, but much, much more. From trivia to music, lifestyles to death styles, and inventive new recipes for brains, Stuttgart Online is the premier online zombie destination. Didn't we destroy the internet? Luckily, El Gore was able to recreate the internet from his original plans. What's on the internet that would interest a droning, glassy-eyed zombie anyway? Al Gore recreated the internet in his own image. What's so great about Stuttgart Online? It's the fun, easy-to-use online experience for zombies and zombies at heart. What happened to Bluster Blaster? There was a... processing... Accident while developing our latest invention. I'm fine, Sam. Haddock is the best kind of fish. I'm fine, Sam. We regret any inconvenience this may have caused. I'm fine, Sam. Thanks for asking. Can you guys fix Bluster Blaster? She had me fixed before they brought me home. We just want to pimp our car. We no longer offer car upgrades. Our income has been lower than previously forecast. But this neighborhood has the highest accident rate in five states. We have spent a lot of this year out of town, Max. Oh, right. So we've devoted our resources to developing the ultimate online experience. SOL. After all this time, you're not offering any car upgrades? None at all. We regret the inconvenience. There's a new invention. It is much too dangerous. Intrigued? Go on. It's the super high-powered antenna for wireless internet access while on the road. There are problems. Using it could result in catastrophic electrical failure and spontaneous explosion of your vehicle. We see. And what are the problems? We'll take that super high-powered antenna. We spent our entire savings on development. We can only give it to you if you help us market SOL. Take the provided CD launcher and use it to give installation discs to zombies throughout the city. We like marketing. And we love shooting things. I like wearing short pants. Would you like to begin driving now? Affirmative. Initiating augmented reality driving sequence. Hello, and welcome to the Pimpla Car Marketing Challenge. Remember that you can now drive using a computer keyboard in addition to your mouse. I want to shoot things! Please deliver the magic of SOL to the display number of zombies. You make that game. And you must do it in the allotted time. Ready, go!
like to try again? You bet. You're just getting warmed up. Excellent. Initiating new hyphen over sequence. I'm liking the sound of this more and more. Please demonstrate the operation of the antenna to our big winner. Not too late. I don't want to see the bright light again. Very well. You get to figure it out for yourself. Where are we headed, Sam? Let's go to Stuttgart. Yeah, Lord! Stuttgart. Very atmospheric. You think this is the big spooky castle the locals were wailing and scampering about? Could be. Hey, look. There's a gaggle of zombies. Politely lining up outside. Ooh, classy. Yeah, Europeans make the most refined undead. This must be the place. Zombie. Oh, hello, sir, Mr. President. Agent Super Bowl! <laughs> what are you doing here? The place is being overrun with zombies. Yes, ladies' night is always packed. The master is a genius at promotion. We're here on official freelance police business, Super Bowl. Let us in! Sorry, sir. We're at capacity. You'll have to wait in line. The master is... Really need to get in. The line won't move any faster if you keep interrupting me, sir. The line's not moving at all, Super Ball. I don't see your point, sir. Maybe a few uh, Washingtons will help speed up the line. Or even a Lincoln? I hope you're not trying to bribe me, sir. Who's in charge here? Master Jurgen, the greatest leader ever. You said the same thing about Hugh Bliss and the evil president! This is different. Master Jurgen has a castle. He does have a point. What is this place, anyway? The zombie factory. Master Jurgen's ancestral home. Garrison of his undead army. Best doors in all of Baden-Württemberg. Super Bowl. Let us in. You'll have to wait in line. The master insists. Super Bowl. We'll be back. Take your time. We're very crowded tonight. There's a pack of clove cigarettes in here. Clove cigarettes? Gilroyal's brand garlic clove cigarettes. For that extra stink of sophistication. They put a stone slab over your corpse. You know they really don't want you coming back.
appear like someone important and tall. And anorexic from the looks of it. Anything good, Sam? Looks like the deadbeat undertaker is an opportunistic German rat. Brain's in decent shape, though. When they put a stone slab over your corpse, you know they really don't want you coming back. A coffin that's been opened. Wait, you mean... Stand aside, Undead. We have to get inside. Yeah, go film a music video or something. <laughs> Typical zombies with their overinflated sense of entitlement. We'll be back. I'll be here. Dig into this tasty brain right now. Mm. <laughs> they were about to eat me along with it. Sometimes I wonder if you're really dedicated to this job. Finally! Bad guys we can actually shoot and it doesn't do anything! It's like we're being tortured by the Almighty. I really know how to take a bullet. Nah, I can't condone... Except cool people. Not even them. Nah, I can't condone smoking for anyone. Super Bowl. We'll be back. I'll be here. I hate waiting in lines, Max. We have to get to the back of the line because we're not famous. But we are both TV stars. And you're president of the United States. We have to get to the back of the line because we're not hot chicks. Spooky castle, huh? Jeepers, you said it! It sure was nice of your aunt to let us visit for the Rock Music Festival. I just hope we don't run into a... G -g -g ghost How many times have I asked you not to do that, Max? Sorry! Got any ideas to get us inside, Max? I'll need a grappling hook, 200 feet of fishing line, a glass cutter, a first edition of Puddinhead Wilson, and a five-pound bag of semi-sweet chocolate chips. These are zombies, not Colombian drug dealers. Oh, right. Make that 300 feet of fishing line. I wonder if anybody interesting is buried here. Probably not now, but we can change that. Peter saying. It's in time. Some grave robber already moved the doors. When they put a stone slab over your corpse, you know they really don't want you coming back. It says, Birgit Farber, 1910 to 1985. At last I'm free of that no-account gear mark.
Here lies someone important. And tall. And anorexic from the looks of it. Hate it when there's a line. Gilroyle's Grand Garn Clove Cigarettes. Wow, the cops actually installed something well. I won't be able to just pull it off. Non-violent solution to our problem. Yes, ripping the brain from a freshly buried corpse was the start of a kinder, gentler Sam and Max. Next. That'd be us. Sorry, sir. You'll have to leave any hazardous items outside. Garlic clove cigarettes, not allowed. Holy water, taboo. You'll have to throw them away. Let's head back home. Looks like an old-style sun lamp. For turning yourself brown and leathery from the comfort of your own home. Looks like an old... What's with a sun lamp, woman who will call stinky for the sake of convenience? So that's what that is. Have to look my best, you know. The magazine set such an unreal. 
Can we have your sun lamp? What could you possibly need it for? Max needs a UV bulb for his teeth bleaching regimen. You think a smile this white comes naturally? Well, go ahead. I don't need... I mean, I'm done with it. So, have you heard from Grandpa Stinky lately? Like... What are you talking about? Grandpa's still on his Himalayan mountain climbing junket. I thought you said Grandpa Stinky was on an around-the-world cruise. Let's watch as the spider tries to free herself from her own web of lies! Oh, he sent me a postcard. His cruise was hijacked by Sherpa terrorists. They ended up making him their god, and now they're following him on a quest to scale the world's tallest peaks. Well, her story does seem to hold up. Zombie's giving you much trouble, Stinky? If that is your real name. Oh no, they're a nuisance, but at least they eat quickly and leave. Your friend Lincoln is the real horror. Come on, give Abe a break. He's on the rebound. He keeps trying to pay me in Confederate money. Who does that? That doesn't even make sense. That was pretty nice of Grandpa Stinky to leave his entire restaurant empire to you. <laughs> Some empire? Zombies, deadbeat ex-presidents, trivia cheaters. Makes me wonder if it was worth the effort. If what was worth the effort? Oh, nothing. Bye. Want to help me carry this thing around, Max? I just want the bulb. Did you just get deja vu? Just close your eyes and it'll pass. Headed, Sam. Let's go to Stuttgart. Have your IDs ready, please. Do the voice! Yes, sir. Welcome to the pages of the night, to the zombie factory. Seems to be some sort of zombie discotheque. Discotheque? <laughs> Welcome to the 80s, Sam. We've been waiting for you. Was a new DJ, as I presume. We're Sam and Max, freelance zombie hunters. Ah, oh, yes, the bit players from the Midtown Cowboys. Bit players? We're the stars! Stars? <laughs> Please stop, you'll make me to giggle. <laughs> Ooh, look at me, I'm so edgy and so filthy. Only half as a me is truly acquainted with the darkness. So what's your story, Emo? I am Jürgen. I'm not surprised you don't know me. No one truly knows me. And this is my army of the undead. 
Hmm. With every soul I take, my army grows larger. <laughs> oh, I did not just reveal my master plan. Well, that was easy. Back, foul monster. We're here to put a stop to your evil scheme. Yeah, cut it out with the zombies already. Stop me. <laughs> so many others have tried. That is how you say, played, yo. Now you must excuse me, for I am a way to dance. I never knew vampires were so... fruity. Not all vampires, Max. Just the European ones. Ready to drop some fat beats or something? Nah, I'm okay. I went before we left. Abyss. Desire. Sepulchre. Pain. Why do they always have bottles of water at raves? Because of all the drugs, Sam. Then we better take one. There's some poetry inscribed on this coffin. My dark mistress longs for death to return to her velvet sepulcher. Her only passion, the void's embrace or else she'd reply to my letters. That's poetry? I didn't say it was good poetry. There's a poem inscribed on this bookcase. What's it say? It's been worn down. I can't read it. That doesn't even rhyme. I wish the people making these fake books would at least try to make them look real. Excuse us. And ep have you learned nothing? <laughs> you can never destroy me without destroying the source of my power. Where is the source of your power exactly? Just curious. Yeah, you just want to look at it. Americans! The source of my power is not something you can buy and own. It is my style. The zombies love me because of my rhymes, my moves, my staying always on top of the latest trance. The style is the only thing that is truly immortal, apart from vampires, which I am also. So, you're big fans of Midtown Cowboys over here? Yeah, it's Deutschland's most popular program. All the young people in the gymnasium wear the t-shirt which read, You probably hide the cow. <laughs> Herr Federley's world is eternal confusion and pain. I appreciate the show on another level, of course, which is why the zombies love me. New location unlocked. What was that? You haven't heard the newest club hit, New Location Unlocked? Oh, you're so tragically unhip.
Have you just been watching the same repeat of Midtown Cowboys all this time? You're just hearing the same jokes over and over again! Yeah, but like me, Herr Featherly adds something new each time. That is why the zombies love us. Not to pry, but are you having a grand mal seizure? Get me a belt so I can put it under his tongue. <laughs> you clumsily refer to my dancing, I presume. No surprise that you do not appreciate my moves. But my people recognize me as Uberfly. Witness! Yeah! <laughs> See that? That is power, my American friends. You know, for a master of style, you don't seem all that great. Yeah, you're just kind of dated and mopey. Well, my zombies know how late it is. I speak to the bleakness of our existence. Winner of MTV Bavaria's most doleful lyrics competition for 270 years running. You've got a castle and a zombie army. What have you got to be down about? Yeah, we're at least twice as miserable. Would you like to prove it? How do we do that? Every night is open. You may try your pitiful best to win over my audience, and then I will assault them with my freestyle melancholy, and they will continue to be in my thrall. How do we know you won't cheat? I never cheat. Yes, some of my rivals have been found with the blood drained from their bodies, but this is mere coincidence. Maybe later. It's the only wise decision you have made all day. Max and I want to check. We'll prove. What? I'm going for Southern Gothic. My name is, um. Count Cryptwind Deathgrass. And I'm, uh. DJ Robbie Fang. And we're gonna kick it out awkward style, yo. We're the freelance grave robbers and we're ready to go, see? We're rocking Sundance like we're Pot Capozzi. We got more rhymes than you can beg, steal, or borrow. Our world is endless torment and sorrow. Despair! You bloodsucker MCs best get out of our way. The rock wasn't too bad. Peace out! Yeah, yeah. Pathetic. You have all the street cred of white 30-year-old video game programmers. Ouch. Now, take a listen to how far it is done. Bleeding wounds self-inflicted. Baleful morning hackatai. Witch queen nurse has no other saptic. Bandages cover scabs of despair. Yeah! Yeah! Dark mistress longs for death to return to her velvet sepulchre, her only passion the void's embrace, or else she'd reply to my letters. Embrace. Pure energy. Abyss. Succubus Sepulchre Pain Parents Torment Razors Desire Blood 
abyss. Misery. Letters. Letters. Sub-Zero. dark mistress longs for death to return to her velvet sepulcher, her only passion the void's embrace, or else she'd reply to my letters. My dark mistress longs for death to re- her or- or- Death. Yeah. Sepulcher Embrace Letters Look, Max! Gee, Sam, I saw it open. I'm not an idiot. I can't see a thing. Your hand. Oops, sorry, little buddy. It's the spotlight for the zombies dance floor. It's the spotlight. It's the spotlight for the zombie stands for. Find the swinging razor sharp pendulum. What razor sharp? Ow! That wasn't here before. Oh, so Jurgen's the only one who's allowed to redecorate? And my latest dance is called The Inconsolable Nephilim. Check it! Ah! Oh, 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 it burns! Oh, lady! It's okay, no problem. They're still cool. No. Not so cool now, are you, Master Jurgen? It is but a minor setback. My zombies still know who is the master of style, am I right? Yeah. Mm. A haunted disco ball. Disco! A fireplace with no... Nothing suspicious here. Let's keep looking. Hey, Jorgen. Meow. We will. It is my style. The zombies love me because of my rhymes, my moves, my staying always on top of the latest trance. Have you just been watching the same repeat of Midtown Cowboys all this time? You're just hearing the same? Yeah, but... We'll leave you alone. Count the hours, Jurgen. 
count the hours until you're... Just yeah, sure. Remember, there's a two drink minimum. Are we? Let's go to the WARP studios. Oh boy! Finally, you're here. Let's get this started. A very special Midtown Cowboys. Scene four, take one in five, four. Hang on. Ah! I can't work like this! Actors. Oh, fine. Take five, everyone. Just come talk to me when you're ready. Look, Max. It's our old co-star, Philo Pennyworth. Featherly. The name is Featherly. I thought you didn't like us calling you by your character name. Are you method acting or something? Hardly. I've legally changed my name to Mr. Featherly. Philo Featherly? No, Mr. Featherly. It simplifies the licensing contracts considerably. What happened to your love of the theater? Hmm, let me see. I could play Torvald in a doll's house two shows a night for an entire year and still not make as many euros as I get from licensing a single poster of my beak. Not my face, just the beak. Did you know you're really popular in Germany? Did I know? It changed my life! That ill-conceived dalliance in prismatology left me penniless. You should have thought about a nest egg. When I was poor, I would have taken offense at that. Now I say, ha! 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 Do you have any crazy fans? A Miss Greta Grunwald of Cologne. She insists on sending me scandalous photos of herself with messages about how she enjoys dark meat. Ugh. Oh, Greta! <laughs> she keeps sending me messages about Hassenpfeffer. With your new popularity, do you need some freelance bodyguards? No. If Ms. Pandemic rejects my application to be her suitor, I may need to call on Miss Grunwald. A wise actor must adapt and adjust. Are you ready for a new season of Midtown Cowboys? I've been ready for several months, but the director insisted that you two appear for some unfathomable reason. Didn't you receive her phone calls? Well, we have been busy. Becoming president, saving the world, deleting random messages from the answering machine. What's the secret to a great performance? The true art of theater it is all about improvisation. Uh, an oral surgeon from Houston during the French Revolution. Well now, Missy, looks to me like what y'all got is an impacted molar. Damn you, Robespierre! And scene. Do you understand? A great actor must be ever prepared for any eventuality. Break a leg. Or worse! Hello, Bessie. Still not speaking to me? I see. What's going on here, exactly? Oh, nothing special. Just the biggest episode of Germany's top-rated television show, that's all. Schnitzel time mit Regis und Katharina Lee? Not anymore. Didn't you get my phone messages? Midtown Cowboys is a surprise hit in Germany! What's the episode about? It's the climactic Mr. Featherly's Intervention episode! Sounds hilarious! 
This is no laughing matter. This is quite possibly the most important episode of television ever made. It's good to see the television industry tackling important social issues like addiction. Right. Social issues. Whatever. I'm talking about product placement. This is going to be pure gold. <laughs> What's our motivation? Your motivation is to not get fired. Just read your lines from the cue cards, keep away from the props, and follow Featherly's lead. He's the one who's selling the t-shirts and soundtrack CDs. How do we get in on all this licensing money? You don't. You signed away all your rights to your image when you filmed the Chef Bessie episode. I don't remember signing anything. So that's what all that fine print said. Besides, I don't see you two as TV stars. Start smaller, like with comic books or video games. What happened to all the other shows in this studio? I want to go on cooking without looking again. They've all been canceled. The entire studio is devoted to Midtown Cowboys and its spin-offs now. There are spin-offs of Midtown Cowboys? Naturally, Downtown Cowgirls, That's So Bessie, Midtown Cowboys Special Heifers Unit, and of course, the sensitive and heartbreaking Midtown Shepherds. I wish I knew how to quit watching that. What are we supposed to do on the show? Just read your lines from the cue cards, keep away from the props, and follow Featherly's lead. We're ready to start filming. It's about time! All right, people, places, everyone. Let's make some money. Art. Let's make some art. Tonight, a very special episode of Midtown Cowboys. Can't we just ignore the problem and hope it will go away? Mr. Featherly needs our help, pal. Oh, there he is now. I must have left my bag in here. <gasps> I knew it. I knew you were hiding a cow. That's right, Mr. Featherly. We have been hiding a cow. But you've been hiding something much worse. What? I don't know what you're talking about. For the love of God, Mr. Featherly, stop with the lies! Just look what you're doing to Bessie. Ah. We saw what's inside your bag. How do you explain this? Ah. Old gut smack brand malt liquor? We see you drinking it all the time. All right, I admit it, I am addicted. Ah. Oh, how could I not be? It's got the smooth hickory age taste that makes every night a special night. It sounds delicious. Let's go buy some right now. Boys, aren't you forgetting something? <laughs> right, about that. Looks like you'll need to buy three bottles of old Gutsmack Grand Malt liquor. Cows love it too. And cut. As the great Lee Strasberg once said, cha-ching. Hey, no wandering around. Record the s Are we leaving already? Now, let's stay here. Whee! You can't go that way! How are the ratings for the last episode? Through the roof! Everybody who's anybody in Germany is watching the show. I can finally release a set of limited edition Spaten forks with my face on them.
What are we supposed to do on the show? Just read your lines from the cue cards, keep away from the props, and follow Featherly's lay. I'll be in my trailer. The clock's... It's Mr. Featherly's bag in the scene. There's a bottle of malt liquor inside. It's Mr. Featherly's... There's a bottle of malt... Are we leaving already? Let's go to Stuttgart. There's a pack of garlic clove cigarettes in here. Army. Let's go to the double. Oh boy! We want to film another episode of the show. For sure, why not? Repackage it as an alternate take. It'll be huge. All right, let's go, people. For the love of God, Mr. Featherly, stop with the lies. Just look what you're doing to Bessie. <laughs> we saw what's inside your bag. How do you explain this? <laughs> Gil Royals brand garlic clove cigarettes? Admit you have a problem. Uh, all right, I admit it. I am addicted. <laughs> but how could anyone resist a, a lung full of garlic flavored smoke? <laughs> they taste good, man, they're good for you. What a heart smart smoking choice. And they make you look so cool. Let's buy some. <laughs> what? Sounds like Bessie wants her own pack of Gil Royal's Grand Garlic Club cigarettes. And that's a wrap! See that, boys? That is acting. Already? Let's go to Stuttgart. Zombie guys, I'm so down with the smoking, yo. Smoke. Who's the master now, Master Jorgen? Your attempts to discredit me will not work. My Z boys still got my back. <laughs> There's a poem inscribed on this bookcase, but it's been worn down. There's a poem inscribed on this bookcase, but it's been worn down.
Nah. Hey, Jordan. Meow. We will end you. It is my style. The zombies love me because of my rhymes, my moves, my staying always on top of the latest trap. All right, take it. can't condone drinking, especially this stuff. We're not leaving, are we? Yeah, let's head back home. It's closed. Bosco went into hiding when we convinced him THEM were coming. She's worthless without a ring. I'm surprised this game survived being thrown clear of the play landing. Not nearly as surprised as the guy it landed on.
It's the place where high priest... I don't want to defile the sacred... Brady's a lot. Get it, Sam. Let's go to Stuttgart. I want to save this. Drink up now. Mmm. the first season of Midtown Cowboys was so... Yeah. Hey, Jorgen. Yeah. Max and I want to challenge you again. Ready, little buddy? Hit it! My name is, um... Seamus, doggy dog. And I'm... Uh... Aaron Bat Anguish Von Nightmare! And we're gonna kick it out awkward style, yo! We're the freelance grave robbers and we're ready to go, see? Build technology for a brighter tomorrow. Microprocessors, G! You bloodsucker MCs best get out of our way. Cause a band is snappy like a David Mamet play. Terse and often vulgar. Rock over, Transylvania. Rock on, Stuttgart. <laughs> Simply terrible. Now listen and be shamed. Agony of ten million paper cards. Heartbreak like an infected hang now. Bat excreta lining the walls of my tomb. Monday is the worst day of the week. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
What happened? I feel the original The holy water wore off. Did you make a known- No, honest, Sam! There's a bottle of holy water in here. the first season yeah. hey Jorgen meow Max and I want to challenge you again my name is Count Crypt Wind Death Grasp and I'm uh Baron Bat Anguish Von Night and we're gonna kick it up where the freelance grip Our world is endless torment and sorrow. Despair! You bloodsucker MCs best get out of our way. Cause all creation ends in death and decay. Entropy, G. Weak children of the night. <laughs> what? You have managed to impress my brainless zombies. No matter, I will still defeat you most easily. But first, an energy drink. Hey, no fair! Ah, to taste the blood of one who believes he has beaten me. <laughs> it is energizing, intoxicating. Drag me to hell with scarred arms. Uh oh, I'm down below. Very soon, need release. Excuse a moment. Can't hold your holy water, Jurgen. You dare defile my. Oh, wait, hold on. That was gruesome. Mm. Oh, that is the very last of the straws. I don't care. I did not become the Prince of Darkness just to make the friends, you know. I will destroy you, Samund Max! Even without the stupid zombies! Who needs them anyway? Zombie pile on you again! Mm. Oh. Save some of the entrails for you guys! We're not through yet, pal. After him. I don't care if those dumb zombies like me anyway. They're so stupid. Stand back, foul creature. We come to cast you back into the unholy pit from whence you were spawned. What he said? Oh, heard it. I should have disposed of you irritants long ago. Now, <laughs> your two souls will fulfill my unholy contract, and I will make the entire Earth my non-stop house party of evil. And then there was the most epic battle of our entire career. Yeah, yeah, I remember the rest. So, what do we do now? Oh, Wiedersehen, Sham und Max. <laughs> Gee, I got so wrapped up in the story, I forgot to think of a plan. We could be. Well, that was unpleasant. 
that jerk Jorgen got my suit all dirty. I'd like to give him a piece of my mind. Or take a piece of his! Mmm, jerk Jorgen. That does sound tasty. We the suffering serpent and the rainbow, Max. We've turned to zombies! Why are we standing like this, Sam? Oh, I thought you knew. Zombie Abraham Lincoln, what are you doing here? I... I don't know. This doesn't look like me either. Something different about you. Hmm. You're not wearing your hat! He's got a body, and he's not 20 feet tall, and he's just come out of a grave. This isn't our Lincoln, little buddy. I know you. How are you enjoying the play? Oh, it's crappy. But I was disappointed that the boot fellow wasn't I hear he's quite the actor, and I was hoping to see him. Thank you, Zombie Abraham Lincoln, for helping us teach kids more about irony! We're Sam and Max, freelance police. Never heard of you. You might not be able to catch the rest of... Wanna know how it ends? No, no, don't tell me. You see the stack? Well, that sounds... Watch your back. What? Why? Where was I sitting? Whee! Ugh, smells like musty cobwebs and half-digested corn dogs in here. I had nothing to do with the cop. I guess you have to be a zombie to appreciate how good Flint is at killing him. The man's a consummate professional. All right, which one of you undead creeps is going to tell me where you got Sam and Max? <laughs> Eat hot lead! <laughs> zombie! Great, they're back. Keep quiet and stand still. Maybe they won't notice us. Hey, look, Max. It's vaguely ethereal versions of ourselves. Are they ghosts? No, probably just those soul things we keep hearing about. Well, what do you know? I do have one. Come to Papa. Yeah, I don't think so. Right. You guys run along and play. We'll be over here until our ride comes. Looks like a delicate piece of high-precision medical. Never die batteries. They're dead. I bet my lifetime subscription. Bringing life to this decaying lump of flesh. We mock death! Our creation lives! Happy birthday! It's almost a birthday! Olay! Well... Hello. 
gonna suck the horror right out of it, huh? Hey, gruesome. You're not Master Jürgen. Who are you? Zombie Ninja Monkey Pirates. Here to avenge the death of our master! That's the fourth time this month. We're just kidding. We're your creators. Master Jürgen is my creator. Well, we pulled the switch. Yes, and I wish you hadn't. The sleep of unlife was preferable to the... Yeah. Farewell. Hey, gruesome. Why so glum, chum? Do you have any idea what it's like being a misshapen freak? The only one of your kind? Nope. Uh -huh. It sucks. No one to confide in. No one. Mm, no one to smack you and tell you to get over yourself already? Hey, monster, what's the Italian word for an appetizer? On Tipofto. What's your job around here? Do you kill stuff, or are you mostly decorative? Master Jürgen created me to prove his ultimate victory over life and death. Never thinking that he'd have to feed you and walk you every day. Typical. Yeah. Farewell. Here we have a van. Looks like a painting of Jorgen in the club when he was younger. Abyss Razors Pain Parents Look, Sam! I did not expect that. so sticky there's not a single possible answer to that question that I like let's go little buddy yes. Flint tastes like cigarette you're only saying that because you don't have a soul Max let's hurry and get it back I don't like allowed to drive cars I don't see why not my license is just as expired now as it was yeah let's head back home come back here you stupid man Help! Someone help! Come.
son, Sarna. He's too fast. Stinky's gooey. Is that tar cake? I love tar cake! Especially the little dinosaurs that got trapped in it during the Pleistocene epoch. It's just a pine. It's not something you want to talk about. Whee! It's Stinky's gooey mo- It's Jesse James's- Surly, even- Nothing, ma'am. What? Oh, never mind. I'll take that, Mr. James. Guys. Yeah, whatever. So, I think I've narrowed it down to two guys. But I'm still not quite sure. You didn't meet any cool guys out there, did you? I'm looking for my soulmate. I've got the initial screening, and then rigorous interviews. And finally, the soul mater. <laughs> Not sure. I won it in an online auction, and the instructions are all in Sanskrit. Something about ripping souls from across the plains to reunite them with corruptible mortal vessels. Doesn't that sound romantic? I could just die. <laughs> A few. If Strange, a freak mishap is defaced.
where are we headed, Sam? Let's go to Stuttgart. Hey, gruesome. You're in luck, buddy. We've got the perfect bride for you. Master Jürgen promised the same thing long ago. But ours is ready to go, right out of the box. No assembly required. Sounds... Let's go introduce you to our friend Sybil. I can't go like this. What woman could be attracted to someone as incomplete as I am? Yeah, trust us. Sybil's used to guys who aren't all there. All the same, I must be fully assembled before I go. And I thought you took forever to get ready, Sam. Hey, monster, what do you... Mom? Yeah. Sam. Uh... Wait to see him floss with you. Wanna play Dr. Max? For the last That wouldn't make a very Hi, gruesome. Let's go introduce you. I can't go like this. Yeah, trust that. All the same. Let's go introduce you to... I can't go like this. Yeah, trust it. All the same, I must be... Hey, monster. Wait, let me do one. What California coast city is home to Cal Poly University? Hmm... Coalinga? It's Jesse James's hand. Cauliflower doesn't go there. I can't see how that would work. Please remember to update my... He's the only one here with a heart. I can't wait to see... Hiya, Gruesome. Let's go introduce... I can't go like... Yeah, trust us. Sip all the same. Yeah. Farewell. Can we eat that brain, or are you saving it for something? Is at times like these, when a monster is driven to consider his place in history, are we not all but misshapen combinations? Yeah, okay! Hi, Gruesome. Let's go meet our friend Sebo. 
It's a frightfully long drive. Are you sure? Yes, let's go right now. Quickly, before Sam gets distracted and... Oh, more switches! Well, I never travel without my belongings. Just throw them in the trunk already. We're wasting daylight. Thanks for coming, gentlemen. I know it's difficult for you to travel, having to carry all your stuff with you. I'm used to it. Well, until I figure out how the Soul Mater works, I'm going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. I'll ask each of you three lucky bachelors a series of questions. Based on your answers, I'll decide which one of you advances to the final round of being my boyfriend. Ah, zombies! I knew it! They've come for the knickknacks! Harry, please. I'll have to ask you to leave if you don't learn to show some tolerance. Break everything! And eat my brain! Nonsense! Sam and Max have just as much right to be here as anyone alive. Hmm, which question should I ask first? Decide. Which question should I ask? Follow your heart. Easy for you to say. Yeah. What are they doing? Make them. What are they doing? Follow your heart. Easy for you to say. We're zombies. I know. Who's your favorite of the eligible bachelors? Oh, Sam, that's like asking me to choose. <laughs> Those aren't your guilt. No, please, I need that. Can't wait to see him floss with that. Better not. He's scared of us enough as it is. Those aren't your guilt. <laughs> oh, good call, Sam. I'll ask this one. Bachelor number one. The only thing I liked about my last boyfriend was that he had a way with words. He always just knew the right thing to say. What would you say to me in a romantic moment? Would we be lounging by a fireplace? Because uh, I don't like fire. I'll make a note of that. And Bachelor number two? I would quote from my award-winning one-act play, The Cloaca Monologues, to wit. Oh, no, that's quite all right. And bachelor number three. What would you say to me in a romantic moment? Hmm. Most romantic thing to say. Hmm. Well, that's a good question. Hmm. Well, I think that the winged emancipator put it best in issue 237 of the original series, of course. When he said... Yeah, I've heard enough. Thanks. All right. 
right. Bachelor number one. I'm still looking for a man who's good with his hands. How good are you with yours? What are you doing? It's the only way I know how to express my feelings, ma'am. Oh! Oh! Oh my! Good idea, Sam. I'll ask this one. Bachelor number one. My last boyfriend was a real jerk. I'm looking for a man who's kind, upstanding, good to everyone, and never cruel. Prove to me you've got a heart of gold. All of my connections have been given gold coatings to ensure optimum bandwidth. Romantic? Same question, Bachelor number two. I am, as you know, the go-to performer for troubled characters with a heart of gold. Landlords, lawmen, gangsters, nuns, hookers, and pimps, I've played them all. Big phony. Got it. Bachelor number three. Same question. Prove to me you've got a heart of gold. Oh, I've clearly won this one. I'm kind, compassionate, wouldn't hurt a fly. Hmm. Weren't you the Don of the Toy Mafia that put a hit out on me? Well, yes. But there were extenuating circumstances. I was hypnotized. I felt bad afterwards. I see. Yeah. What are they doing? Bachelor number one, you whisper. Would we be lounging? I'll make a note of that. Bachelor number two, same question. I would quote from my award-winning one-act play, The Cloaca Monologues, to wit. Oh, no, that's quite all right. Bachelor number three, your answer? What would you say to me in a romantic moment? Hmm. Most romantic thing to say. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that's a good question. Hmm. Hmm. We're not allowed to quote from comic books? I... Fair enough. I can't condone jerk. I still can't... No. You... Would we be loud? Um, oh, no. And... What would... Hmm. Most romantic thing to say. Keep your hands away from that, you filthy, disgusting creature! What? I expected better from you, Harry. But I wasn't talking about you! The... The, the zombies! <laughs> Your anti-zombie talk isn't making things any better. I think you'd better go.
Thank you for filling in on such short notice, Agent Superball, was it? My pleasure. You're looking radiant. Thanks, Sam, but I know who I picked for that one. Okay, that sweet thing. Well, but words could do little. Miss Pandemic? Marry me? Oh, I mean... Thanks, Sam. Ah! Bachelor number one. All of my connections have been given gold coatings to ensure optimum bandwidth. Romantic. And bachelor number two? I have a reputation for being the most magnanimous charitable performer in the entertainment industry. So what's with that tabloid photo of you flipping off Tom Hanks at the Screen Actors Guild Awards? He'd eaten the last piece of corn, which he knows is my favorite. Bachelor number three. Same question. Prove to me you've got a heart of gold. I live according to the writings of my teacher and prophet. Who's that? Jim Morrison. Let's head back to Stuttgart. Please, don't make me get back into the trunk. Yeah, I miss the dungeon. doesn't need cutting. Look away, Max. This nonsense. I embrace all kinds of vent. Hey, we didn't see you come in. I move swift. Ah, good to know. Sweet. I 
I'd rather just be friends. No. He's the only one here with a heart. I love you, Sam and Mac. Oh, come here. Take it out. Take it out. I still can't. Ah. Bachelor. I love you the best. Cup. Maybe later. Bachelor number. I am quite the generous tipper. Good to know. Bachelor number three, your answer? Prove to me you've got a heart of gold. I live according to the writings of my teacher and prophet. Who's that? Jim Morrison. Leave with a relax. But you have to. Where are we headed, Sam? Let's go to Stuttgart. Quantum mechanic. Hi, gruesome. Yeah. Farewell. Hi, gruesome. Yeah. Farewell. He's the only one here with a heart. I bet that gave it enough juice. It's an alchemy machine. Please remember to up... He's the only one here. like a waste of good chocolate. A 24 karat. Get me my checkbook quick. I need to give the charity. Hi, gruesome. Let's go. It seems... Yes. Okay, got one. What's that? 
I'm terribly sorry. I was distracted. See, I used your restroom earlier, and I'm worried I might not have remembered to leave the seat down. Could you repeat the question? Hmm. I think I've heard enough. Well, I think the choice is clear. Bachelor number one. Would you like to go steady? At last, I feel complete. Preposterous. Please, no cameras. I need a moment. After years of searching, I finally found the perfect man. <laughs> what? Oh, of course you're right, Max. This has all been a lie. <laughs> In my heart, I've always known who my true soulmate is. I just never wanted to admit it. What? I've been so stupid. Stubborn and foolish. I only hope he'll take me back. Thanks a lot, jerks. <laughs> I suppose the weekend in Cabo San Lucas is out of the question as well. Get it, Sam. Let's go to Stuttgart. Are zombies allowed to drive? I'm... Yeah, let's head back. I guess Sybil won't be needing this anymore. Where are we headed, Sam? Let's go to Stuttgart. work, Sam? There must be a button or a switch. The hell? What gives? I guess there's no switch. I wouldn't say that. Did everybody get tall and chubby all of a sudden? Hey, give my stuff back. Ah, so there's where you keep your gun. Sam and Max, you keep returning, but you know you cannot defeat me. That's Max and Sam. No matter, I will take your souls once again, but this time your bodies will be obliterated. <laughs> what? Obliterated. You know, cut off your heads, set them on fire, salt the earth. Oh, nothing doing. You're gonna regret you ever tangled with me and Max. I mean, Sam. As your Americans say, nuh-uh. 
Sybil Soulmater. Not happening. Nah. It's Jorgen Soul Sucking Machine. Can't condone dr I bet those candy. Oh, please. Too slow. Ann Coulter, a life. Alchemy for beginners. You're gonna made it up to chapter 14, turning chocolate to gold. Monster, think fast. It's your insult. This is a step up, at least. It's too crowded in here! Oh, no. Got the point. You suck, Jurgen! Hey, my line was better. <laughs> but I cannot be defeated. I am the Prince of Darkness! <laughs> Just in time, too. What's up, Flint? You know, I've been tailing that Bosco mug, right? 
Well, the trail's got colder than a Dear John letter written on no-tell motel stationery. Bosco's just loud and easily startled. We'll help you dig him up. That's the rub, see? Bosco's vanished off the face of the earth! Ladies and gentlemen of the press, the President of the United States. 